Okay, well we've had the little villiers apart now. Uh, it wasn't too hard at all, it came apart very easily to be fair. Um, no real nasties to report. Um, everything seems to be fine. Uh, possibly just a little tiny bit of play in that little end bearing. Uh, but that should be fine. Piston is nice and clean. No scoring at all. Uh, the cylinder's got a little bit of uh, rust in it, so we're going to hone that out. Um, tested the water jacket, that's watertight. Uh, didn't seem to leak at all. This one we'll be a little bit more sceptical of, because it's had the top pipe work broken out. And it's also had a lot of repair work down in this bottom corner uh, from when it was originally done. Uh, it must have looked pretty much the same as this one when it was done. But this one must have taken a little bit of a knock and has been repaired likewise. This one has also had some epoxy sort of resin put around this pipework here. Um, and usually both engines were pipework together, so both of these were joined together at the tops, which must have caused a lot of vibration, which is probably what broke that off in the end. Uh, likewise the same with the bottom, they were both piped into each other again, which has probably caused this. So if I do mount them on the same trolley again to the same water tank like it was, I shall put a rubber connection in between the two engines uh, to stop that vibration. But yeah, no, no real nasties at all. Uh, these are just the uh, bronze bushings in here, uh, not roller bearings like the later engines. Uh, so I think these are probably quite early. They seem to have a different design of the fins inside here to what I've seen before, slightly more rounded off. Uh, yeah, certainly a little bit different to the other one that I had, so I think these might be slightly earlier than the uh, than the first one I ever had that I did unfortunately sell, otherwise I'd have an air-cooled one to go with these water-cooled ones, which would be nice for a display. But yeah, no, no nasties at all, which stripped the carburetor down at some stage. Um, I am going to paint this uh, water jacket, I believe, um, because of the epoxy work that's around here, it doesn't look too pretty. Uh, so I shall paint those in uh, black engine enamel, same paint I used on the Maytag. And then these will be shined up, uh, the flywheel will obviously get polished, and then we'll paint the brackets in the same uh, black. So yeah, should look uh, should look pretty good. And obviously we'll do some work then to the uh, actual water tank as well. The petrol tank is solid brass, that looks quite nice, so that should shine up alright. Yeah. I don't know, they seem to be seem to be pretty good. I've had the flywheel off of this engine. Uh, the coil is dead, so we will be uh, will be needing one of the Chinese remanufactured ones. So we'll give one of those a go. I've heard they're not too bad at all. I know Mate Do Men One has used quite a few of them, so they should be pretty good. Anyway, uh, so that'll do for the uh, second part of this. And yeah, next time we see it, it uh, should be a little bit more back together, and then uh, should be running.